everyone is talking about their dysregulated cortisol levels. So I'm here to talk to you today about what it means to have elevated cortisol and what it means to have a decreased level of cortisol. My name is Lindsay. I'm a medical practitioner and a nervous system expert, and I've worked with thousands of clients over the past eight years in VitalSide. First off, cortisol levels can be measured through a blood test, a urine test, or a saliva test. Common symptoms of dysregulated cortisol is increase in stress, headache, weight gain, a lot of chronic symptoms that come on randomly, fatigue. One of the most common symptoms of elevated cortisol levels is anxiety. And high cortisol means that your adrenals are producing the stress hormone cortisol in response to a perceived threat in your environment. This threat can be actually dangerous, a virus, a bacteria, or a psychological threat that gets communicated through your pituitary gland from your hypothalamus to the rest of your body, including your adrenals. A spike of cortisol gets released in order to try to protect you. This cortisol can stay spiked until we have a depletion of cortisol, which often occurs after the exposure to that perceived threat, whether it's a virus, bacteria, or psychological threat for a prolonged period of time. This means that that threat response stays turned on in our brains, gets communicated to our bodies, and our bodies actually run out of cortisol, making that cortisol production. So we don't have enough to go around, and then you see on lab tests that cortisol plummets. Dysregulated cortisol is a symptom of the chronic stress response. And to learn how to get out of this response, head to the top of my page. I have a free guide waiting for you, tools that you can start using today at home to start regulating your cortisol levels.